Hello, hello, hello. Welcome and welcome back to Nita Price Plant Paradise. This is the place to come to take the time to exhale and enjoy nature's beautiful, beautiful creations. At this time, we're going to start with my Synanthium Marinarianum. I'm probably saying it wrong, but I just wanted to show you how well she's doing. I've lost a few of her sticks, but that's to be expected. Now moving on to the Monstera Deliciosa, who I call Delicious. Yes, this is one of her biggest leaves. She's doing well. She's still reaching for that light. It's really nice of her. Look at her. And that is a little tingy. I don't know why it's a little yellowish, but it is what it is. And she's she seems happy. I'm not going to fuss with her. That's a new leaf that's about to unfurl and then as you can see coming up on this leaf oh she's she's beautiful and this one she's special in her own right I don't know what happened to her as she was unfurling but it almost like a burn mark like it's a birthmark for her or something. I don't know. But you know, and when I say burn or birth, I'm just saying a birthmark. It looks like that to me after I thought about it. Um, but yeah, I I think she just, I don't know what happened to her, but she's a small leaf that unfurled. And as you can see, the other one, it was a bigger leaf that's been around for a while. And I still have that little tiny pole. And I just wanted you to see her leaf. And behind her is, they, well, behind her, there is the Pathiopelum Michelle on the right. I'm sorry, the left. And on the right is the Sherry Baby. You all, it, the Sherry Baby is not doing well at all. Although she has new growth. I don't know if you can see that. That's just before that little stick, it looks like. There's new growth there. So we'll see. So... We're going to move on to the Anthurium of Atifolium. Yeah, she has two, what I like to call special leaves. I don't know why she came out that way, but that's the way she came out. If anyone has this plant, please let me know. Maybe this the nutrients. Maybe I need to give her some. This is a new leaf that's about to unfurl. See, I just wanted to show you all. It's about to unfurl. She still has not completely unfurled yet. And as you can see, this is one of her biggest leaves. I just wanted you to see the back side of. And then here's the one right here. Oh, I love how this one looks. Look at her. Oh my goodness, she's gorgeous. She is gorgeous. Uh, yes, and it's a little dust, little dust. <laughs> that is dust on her, believe it or not. And that's one of her big, bigger leaves as well. And she's a little dusty. I'll dust her up, you all. I usually do. But she ended up with some dust. And now we're moving on to the rabbit's foot fern. She's holding her own. She's still in the same pot that I bought her in. I will eventually move her up maybe sometime during the summer, I guess. But right now she's doing good. And I just wanted you to see what she looks like. Because she's almost under the ovatifolium, who I like to call Ovi. Uh, yeah. And you can see she has some dry leaves. And what I do, I just take them off. Or I, you know, I'll break them off or what have you. But she's, doing, she's looking good. She's looking really, really good. Now I'm back to, I wanted to just check and see if, if, the, if Ovi was growing anything in her substrate yet, but nothing new has popped up lately. Now we're moving on to, oh yes, look at that. Ooh. She's a homolomina, mina, and that is, this plant is called the Apoballus acuminatissima. She is stunning. Look at her stem, you all. Oh my goodness. They get a really dark purplish looking color. And the older she gets, this is the one I had to cut all the way back because I almost lost her a couple of months ago. And she's bounced back beautifully, beautifully. 
Scientists really need to look into this plant because when I say it regenerated, it regenerated. And she has those two little pieces on the left and on the right. As you can see, the little piece is sticking out near the pole there. It looks like there's some new growth that's going to come out of that. And right there that I'm panning in, well, not panning in, but I'm looking at right now. And then she still has those two little pups. Those pups have not grown any more than that. So that's the way she is looking right now. But I love the color from it. Look at the leaves. Oh, that leaf. And on the back side, usually it's going to be a dark burgundy purplish looking color. But I wanted you all to see that she's still young in a sense because it's pink. It's just still showing pink and the veining of it is a little pinkish back there. And then you have the other two that were older leaves back there. They look a little burnt. But then I wanted to pan back in so you could see that veining. The veining is amazing on this plant. She's absolutely beautiful. And this one, which is an older leaf, she's getting that more dark, purpley looking color. See that? Oh my goodness, the veining of that. Just gorgeous, gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. Now we're moving to the lipstick, the Black Bogota lipstick plant. She is stunning, stunning you all. I'm, she's still in the same pot. I have not uh, potted her at all. I love the colors in her leaves. It's like that deep green color. Then you have that light lime limeish greenish color in a sense very beautiful and you all there's nothing on her this is just the light that little mark on her yes that is her i'll call it i'll call that her birthmark because that's just the way she is but look at the backs look at the backs of that and it's purplish color it's a purplish color on the back of her the front is completely different than the, the top part of her, I mean, I'm sorry, the back, her underside is completely different than the top part. And there's nothing wrong with her, you all. Like I said, that's the lighting for whatever reason. Because uh, when I saw that, I said, wait a minute, I had to look around the camera and make sure that there was nothing wrong with her. Except she has, a, like I said, I'm going to call those little notches on her. And from now on, a lot of the other plants that I have, birthmarks <laughs> or, you know, for their for their plant life. And next to her, who is growing just as beautiful, who's gorgeous, I like to call her gorgeous, is my Brazil. My Brazil, look at her. She has the different shades of green. She has the light green, the dark green, the medium green, and all these other kinds of greens that's in her. Even a very, very light green. Almost like a yellowish kind of green. She's beautiful. Oh my goodness. When I say she is going to have her actually attached to some, um, yeah, I'm getting ready to show you now. <laughs> She's uh, growing on my uh, board back there, my cubicle board. And I just wanted you all to see this unraveling. I don't know what that is, <laughs> but hey, I'm leaving her alone. I'm not cutting that. I don't know. That's just her. So I'm letting her enjoy her plant life right where she is. And I just wanted you all to see. And yes, there's nothing wrong with that leaf either. It, that is just the lighting that's on, that's it's reflecting off the leaf. And then I wanted to show you my girl again, the lipstick plant. And those were her, her new leaves. And these are ones that have been around for a while. And as you can see, they usually just plop right on over when they get heavy. And I will definitely up pot her sometime during the summer because I will probably put her in a hanging basket. She's absolutely beautiful. Look at that. Oh. Depending upon what other plants I get, she definitely might make my top five or top 10. I might increase it to 10, okay, at the end of the year. Oh, now we have the Christmas cactus. I bought this little baby for like, I think it was $5 at Walgreens, <laughs> you all. 
I tell you, she's grown. It seemed like quite a bit. She's holding her own. And now I'm just showing you a little bit of me getting ready to change my pinky, the pink anthurium, into a bigger pot. This is the same pot she has been in for the last year and a half. And it's time for me to up pot my girl. Because you know what, y'all? I started losing leaves. I was wondering what is wrong with her. See, she started changing colors. And that's just a splotch right there. But she seems to be okay. But I still had to check these out because I said I don't want to lose her. This was given to me as a gift when my two brothers passed away. So I really, really wanted to keep her. My pink anthurium. I just love her, y'all, so much. Look at her. She's just, just gorgeous, just sprouting out. So I'm getting ready to tell you why in a minute as to what her problem was. Okay, let's transition. Mmm, look at that. Beautiful roots. But honey, she was getting root bound. I that, That's from me opening her up a little bit because she was compacted in there. I said, oh my goodness, no wonder you were screaming, mommy, up plant me. <laughs> So I figured that's probably what it was because I knew she had been in this pot a while. And you all, when I say there was hardly any dirt in there, it was just a little bit of dirt. It was just a little bit of dirt. Look at that. Those roots were screaming for a new pot. And, and I had a pot sitting there for a while. I just don't. Something like I said, I've been busy, so sometimes I don't have time to do it. And then I had time on this day. Some days I'll have, I'll end up staying a little later just to get things done. But I just wanted you all to see all those roots. No, you all. I know some of you will say, "Needy, you should cut it." No, I let the plants do what they're gonna do. That's just me. That's their plant life. I want them to live their fullest plant life that they can in my care. So I really wanted you all to see all of that. Look at those roots. Wow, I had never seen, I don't think any of my plants had ever been that root bound. And like I said, I had to open it up. I should have, I, I believe there's a picture later on in this video where you're going to see what I think when I just took her out. I believe I did take that shot. I can't remember. But look at her. Oh my. I wanted you to all you all to see. Look, that little bit of dirt was on her. That's really the plant. That it, it was just amazing. I was astonished. That's more like the word. And as you can see, that's the pot that I took her out of. The one that's there to the left at the top of the frame. And right underneath is the new pot that I'm going to be placing her in. And what I did was I used the Chunky Aeroid Mix. And I'll get to that in a moment. I won't tell you all right now. Because I just went, as you can see, I was, <laughs> I looked at these roots. I couldn't believe what I was looking at. I just couldn't. I said, what? What? I, I had to apologize to the plant. I said, I'm so sorry. I'm so, so sorry that I did you like this. But I want her to thrive. I really do. And the roots look healthy. So I just, like I said, I just opened her up. All I did was just put my hand in the middle, shake out a little bit of the dirt that was there. But I really, really want her to live her full plant life. I really do. So I'm glad I... I was able to keep looking at her, and you all, when I say I cut down at least maybe five leaves, because she was actually bigger than that. She had more leaves, and she was always popping up. As you can see that, look at the cluster there. She was always giving me a new leaf. She really was. Every time you turn around, it seemed like once a week, she was popping it out. <laughs> and if it wasn't that one week, it was... Two weeks later, here comes another leaf. Those leaves look beautiful, don't they? And as I say, 
It has some few birthmarks on it, but that's okay. That is absolutely fine. I'm telling you, I was amazed at what I was looking at. So that's why I did it in slow motion because I wanted you all to see how these roots were all over the place. They were entwining into each other, trying to find the soil. Where's the, where's the soil at? I'm feeling myself at this moment. See, and I wanted you to get up in there again. It was like almost smothering it. I felt so bad for what I had done. But I'm glad I was able to catch that and make sure I save her, so to speak. And put her in some better soil than what she was in previously. Wow. I think this is almost coming to an end now. Yeah, look at that thick chunk of soil right there. I just left it, you all, because after I had shook it all, um, a lot of it off, which, like I said, it wasn't really that much. So I did reuse it. I, You'll see in a moment. What I shook off of her, I put right back in the mix so that way she can easily begin to acclimate to it. I believe I showed that. At least I did. If I didn't, I did use some. Uh, there she is when I, re, when I repotted her. Obviously, I didn't show that part like I thought. But I used the Chunky Aeroid Mix. As well as some Lekka and Sphagnum Moss. I made that just a mix all of because that's all I had. So, and she really was not going to survive you all if I did not up pot her. So now she went from an eight inch pot all the way to an 11 inch. I'm let her go, I'm just going to let her live her best life, her, bless, her best plant life, really. And I just wanted you all to see how she almost very, what's the word I want to use? And I do wipe down the pot, you all. It's because it was, it, I had just replanted her. And I said, let me just, I'm sorry, repotted her. And I said, let me just put her up here so she can get the light from the hallway from my cubicle. Because she seems to love it up there. She almost, I, the words I was about to say was, she almost looks majestic. She looks very happy and I hope she is. And I gave her some water. Once I placed her up there, I did put some water in her. I gave her quite a bit of water. Since she was in the a teeny bit of the old substrate and I put her in the new one. And now this is to give you an update of my growth plant project at work. Look at her. This is, I believe the last video you saw of her where she had a leaf that was going to unfurl. So I just wanted to pan back to this so you all could get a good look at her again. And of course I'm going to take that lid off so you all can see her a whole lot better. I'm going to do it in a second. There we go. Now you're going to get a close up shot. Look at that. I wanted you to see what she looks like before I show you what it looks like now. That was, this is the before picture, which I believe was the last time I had uploaded the video for you all just dealing with her where she was featured. Now 
basically I'm trying to put the lid back on <laughs> or her cover it's really not a lid it's just something I made up basically and then I'm trying to put the pothos back on her on top of her to kind of hold her down so to speak so that's what I'm doing there and I'm getting ready to come out of this frame her before frame and then show you her in five four three two one here she is this is her now present day and I call her little nubby now with a K <laughs> Yes, little nub with a K. Ah, little is like little Wayne, L I L. <laughs> yes, I did go there, y'all. Nubby is K N U B B Y. Yes, I did. Hey, I figured if my sister can do it when she named her cat Buttercup with a K, and I teased her about it so bad, I said, you know, my sister's on to something. <laughs> And then I'm just showing you a little bit of uh, my golden pothos that my sis gave me. She's growing very well. She's very leggy, but it doesn't matter. That's just the way she wants to grow. And I have her right by the grow light. So it is what it is. Like I said, I'm letting them live their best life. And as you can see, I don't, I can't remember whether I showed that part or not. The leaf had unfurled. The leaf that was not, that was furled all up. She, it unfurled in the picture I just showed you. And now it's trying to escape both of these big leaves. Once it hits the top of this, uh, it's coming out and I will up pot her. But this is, what, this is her third of potty. I think I remember telling you all because she was in a white, a black container at first and then a white container and it was stifling her growth when I put her in the white container because then she just reached that in a matter of a week and like I thought I was doing something <laughs> and I think I take the lid off again here it is, look at it Look at it unfurling, you all. She's beautiful. She is beautiful. My little nubby. I call her my little nubby. Look at her. Wow. And it still hasn't unfurled completely. I'm thinking over the weekend, when I go back to work, she will probably have unfurled. But she's growing very nicely. And the group uh, project is, it was 10 of us. I thought it was like 15, but it wasn't. But it's 10 of us, uh, 10 of my coworkers, and we formed a group to see who's gonna keep their babies alive until December of 2023. That's what the grow plant project is at my job. So that's what that is all about. So I just wanted you all, I just threw her in this, because she's in, in my office as well so i just wanted to give you all a quick update with a voiceover with it and here's some pictures coming up just a recap and it's just of a few plants it's not of many Oh, I did take a picture. See, I did take a picture, but it, so that's not all of them about what I did. And there she is. Now for the beautiful thought. Gratitude turns what we have into enough. I wanted to use that. I have no idea who the author is. This is something I haven't had in my office for quite a number of years now. And I believe I bought this from Home Goods. When I saw, I'm sorry, my apologies, Hobby Lobby. So I wanted to end there. And I want to thank you all for watching. 
I want you all to please stay safe. Take care of yourselves. And God bless.